Julian Montesano. Greenville hosted Maribyrnong Park at Section Road and the EDFL Match of the Day crew were there. Here are the highlights. Sending it inside 54, Caruso looking for Thompson in the one-on-one, -on -one. did okay. McClellan also did pretty well just to stop him from taking that mark Whoa. at the last second. Picked up by Seneco, gets the handball off. The snap, it looks pretty good. Oh, it's brilliant for the first goal of the afternoon. Great stuff there from Ryan Townsend. Working it by hand now, the Jets. Fort Caruso, next link in the chain. He's got a Just man in it. the center of the ground, and that's where Smith is. He has to gather. Ball went over his head, but he is able to gather. The snap, it's on target, and it has the distance too. There's the first two goals of the game for Greenvale. And um, calling for it is Nick Prowse. It's not going to get it just yet. Still inside 50. Dempsey just steals it off and snaps on the right. That looks good. That's straight over the umpire's hat. Courtney Dempsey gets his first, gets Greenvale's third. It's not going to be a score, but there are plenty of numbers there. Prowse almost got the mark at ground level, picked up by Kempster. And finally, Marby Park of their first goal of the afternoon. Wants to go inboard immediately. Des Martinello finds a boot who can get it and go. Chooses to do so, sends a long high ball inside forward 50. Ma read it better than Burns, his opponent. Did well to get a hand on it though, did Burns. Now Zumbo in a dangerous position. Lost the footy. Ma, the dribbler from the boundary line. Oh, no. oh, oh no. good work from Matt Pinella <laughs> to keep it in. But he turned it over almost immediately. Luckily for him, he had some support. Missed one in the first term. From directly in front, but a good 50 metres out as well. This will lift the line. So 45 out, gets under it. Not going to get the distance. Seneco went over oh. the top of his head. It's cleared the pack. No one's touched it. It's gone through for a goal. And the Lions have their second. Unbelievable. Saw it paid last night, I believe, that um, deliberate rush behind. Ball comes in, cut off. Can run in. Prouse from 40 directly in front. They've got another one. So just outside 50 is Jared Benello. I don't think he has the distance in him. So he's just going to pop it up top of the square. Who's there? Sardo. Oh. So too, Seneco. So this is not a given. 20 metres out directly in front. Seneco did miss one of these at the other end in the first term as he comes in and puts it through. The ball comes out to Costello on the left. Puts it to the top of the goal square. The mark's going to be taken by Prowse. This one will put Amabi back in front. From about 25 metres out, starts at right, squeezes home. The line's in front, 4-5-29, Greenvale 4-1-25. Kondo has the ball out wide, has to get down low to Seneco, did well. Took it on his shoelaces. Front of the commentary box here, that section road, all tied up. 31 apiece, four gone, third term. Looking for his big man. In DeLuca, big man to another big man. DeLuca took the mark on his chest, gave the handball off to Caruso. Caruso to Benalo. That's Jared. Jared from 55. Standing start. Goal. The Jets hit the lead again. High free kick going the way of Maribyrnong Park. Now a chance for Keo. Decides to pass instead of having the shot. And he hits up Romensky on the lead. Might just have himself a goal assist here as Brody Romensky comes in. Only about 30 metres out. Slight angle. He makes no mistake. He's gotten his opportunity at senior level with a few injuries to some of the more established Greenvale forwards. Hasn't had a lot of the footy today, but he'll kick from just outside 50. He's got the distance and he's got the accuracy as well. Big goal from John O'Kent. And Greenvale now 8-2-50. Marby Park 5-7-37. At a 45 degree angle, he's kicked one today. He's played a much better game than last week, as we've said a couple of times this afternoon. This will be for his second. We are right behind it. Courtney Dempsey to extend the Jets lead. Dead straight. 60 metres out from goal. It might be time for one last one of the quarter. Marvin As needs to be careful here. Zumbo running around on his on the left. Thompson, that's a wobbly old torpedo drop punt. And somehow Fort Caruso has taken the mark. He's a very good player, is Fort Caruso. He's a very good goal kicker as well. That's his first for the afternoon. Then this sort of comeback is Prowse wins it from the rock. Well, that was supposed to go inside 50, but ended up going backwards. Luckily for Marby, though, White took the mark and... Now he can pump the Lions inside forward 50. He's got the one-on-one. -on -one. Kempster, can he take it? He does at the back. Took, needed three chances, but he finally took it. And from 20 out directly in front, he's a chance.
just to keep Maribyrnong Park in it and to bring the margin back to 21 points. Dalen Kempster has put it through. So Benello's going to go out wide to a three on one and the one did all right, forced to cock a contest as Kokonakis does the roving. They go back inside 50. Sun in the eyes there, but the mark taken. And Maribyrnong Park, this is the one that they needed. Brody Romanski comes in and chips it over the top of the goal umpire's hat. There is still a heartbeat for Maribyrnong Park in this one. Zumbo and Benello, they've been fantastic. They've just teamed up once again, but the ball's going to come back inside. Comes out to Martinello. What does he do? Dishes the handball off. Here's a shot on goal. It's through, and it's a boot that's got him back within single digits. Here we go. Zumbo plays on. He goes long. They're not going conservative. Thompson, that is a huge mark. And it might just be a match-saving mark for Jacob Thompson. So many numbers around this foot in. Lots of Marby numbers are behind the pack as well if it comes out, which it does. In the direction of Sardo, oh. he slipped over and there is the final siren. Greenvale has won an absolute thriller here at Section Road. So Greenvale held on by seven points in the end, which makes it difficult for Maribyrnong Park to make it into the final four. Jared Bonella was our raw form seamless compression player of the day. This weekend, the EDFL Match of the Day crew will head down to Nipper Jordan Oval to see the clash between Essendon Duda Stars and Pasco Vale. Enjoy your weekend.